notepad plus plus. Nope, notepad plus plus. There we go. Alright, this is the bot. Uh, let me make sure it's not entirely full screen. Alright, does this occlude our beautiful chessboard? No, you can still see the chessboard. And it doesn't overlay any of the code, so that's cool. So leave this here. And now I'm still left thrashing, trying to figure out what about this failed. Um, from the Python image library, import all this stuff. Maybe it isn't necessary to run it full screen. Although I would assume so, but maybe this requires Python 3. I have not thought about that. Although most Python programs require Python 2 instead. And we would see by now if it did require Python 3, you'd have some sort of error here. Um, so what now? There's bot.py, there's bot.thread, or bot.threading.py. Have I tried bot.py? Let's go back into chores mode. Alright. Career menu. That's funny that you have to go to career menu, and then from the career menu you can go to the tutorials. And then from the tutorials you select the tutorial we want. As opposed to... Ha! Huh. I forgot about that. Good stuff. Um, so let's try this. Python bot.py. Oh, whoa. What is this? Are you serious? What is off here? I'm printing all kinds of things now, which is good, but, um, I just don't remember the context under which I said to print stuff. Okay. Well, it's less than the cooking timer. Keep going. I'm starting a temporary cooking loop. Like, here I could say we're gonna deal with the chore you'd think that this would make some attempt to deal with stuff on the right there. What if I go full screen? Does this have any better luck? No. Okay, so let's unfull screen that again. Um, I can minimize this? Oh, but it still appears the way it appears there. What about this? Do I need this open? Um, once it finds the correct recipe, it calls the function, and the order is completed. Alright, so... These are chores. There's the opening tutorial, of course. Something a bit more conventional. Yep, yep, yep. To your left are your prep stations. Like these one, two, three, and four. Um. I seem to be stuck in the tutorial. Oh, there we go. Alright, press 1 to start the order. You'd think that this would press the 1 key, but okay. Yeah, I'm very confused as to what's going on with this bot.
Let's see. Print. Got all kinds of code here. Compare images. Was this the printing code I added? Um, like, what if I do this now? Okay, nothing. So yeah, that is the code that prints out number, which is each dumb key, and armus zero. Um, So, yeah, we have a number with each of these. Armus zero is the square root of the sum a squared minus b squared, or a minus b squared. Um, oh, what if I just, like, move this a bit. Let's say we could have, um, so it could be off by like 50 pixels. No, 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 no. In fact, that's the issue here, is that all these exceed uh, the root mean square error. Um, so, you're right. It doesn't refer to Stalbin. It refers to meet root mean square error. So, I mean, I could get rid of these comparisons, which seems ridiculous. Um, so this opens up this file, histogram, and compares that. Um, to num images. I think the manual explained that this takes screenshots of the screen and then tries to identify whether something on the screen matches. Um, and clearly we're off by a lot here. Um, like these numbers that say I'm off by 182 on average. Um, and that's root mean square, but... Yeah, that's basically saying that I'm capturing a white screen. Instead of capturing the game. Um, so, how is it that... How is this supposed to work? Image open, num images get number histogram. Um, I guess the more interesting thing here is anything that we could see about N1 would be of interest. What? Got this direct message on Lee Chess that doesn't make any sense. People are... Oh. Yeah, I don't know what to make of this Lee Chess message. People think that I have, like, a ton of... Um, influence on what goes on in site policy there. Yeah, right. So... I don't know. Let's take each of those and just print it out. Of course this isn't going to work, but... Um... Alright, so there's our stuff. Here's our little terminal. <sighs> Here's the guy's face and the food and all that. Um... Now that's just trying to pick like what numbers lit up here. It should say that the one number is pretty well lit up. Um, yeah, 
Yes, so like I expected, but we're capturing a white screen. Now, okay, zero, 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 etc. Um, I should print these on separate lines so as not to drive myself mad, but these both start with a ton of zeros. Then they have some pixels that are lit up. Um, whereas the image file... No, this is the screenshot. This is... Um, Hmm. <laughs> Am I gonna have to like break out the OpenCV library or something just so I can print what the image looks like? Or do I export this as a PNG or something so I can examine it? And figure out what the hell it's capturing? So whatever it's capturing is not the game. That's pretty clear. Alright, so. Um, for number in num keys. Now, first thing I should do is change this so I have a little bit more control over it. So instead of number in num keys, we'll take a look at what num keys are. Um, and cut that back a bit. Num keys is equal to all this fun stuff. Um,. But yeah, we don't want all those. That's too much for me to troubleshoot all at once. Oh, there I am. I'm at the bottom here. So, rather than that, um, rather than declaring num keys, I'm going to say for number in this set. Um. Just the one number. That's fine for now. Um, just to prove the concept, first of all, let's make sure that we can load the image. That'd be N2. It's not all white and it's not all black. Um, yep, that's a non-uniform image. Oh, I see. So yeah, every zero here is a black cell. Everything that's lit up here is some shade of gray or white. Like, this 347 is probably the upper left corner here, where we have our first white pixel. Or it could be something, who knows. But, um, somehow that's not a uniform distribution, so we are loading something. Um... Okay, and then we'll capture what N1 is. Uh, minimize this. Okay, so this is what N1 looks like. It's tons of zeros. 1676, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out like what is it that we're capturing. Evidently, it's not the, the one on the screen. Um, oh. You wish the stream had quality options. Use IM Show. So save it to a file. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Um, so, n1 equals this. IM Show. I probably need some kind of library for that to do something, but let's try it. Okay, unexpected indent. Oh, really? So we got, um, let's try that again. I am show is not defined. Matt Plotlin. All right. Um, so we're gonna say up here from Matt Plot with import I am show. Somehow it didn't know what Matt Plotlib was for autocomplete, but it did know what I am show is. That confuses me. Um, 
no module name matplotlib pip install matplotlib or is it just matplot or is it something oh there we go oh I'm sorry um let me see if I can downscale this a bit or something uh video audio shoot uh, whatever this is cook serve delicious we don't need a 3000 bit rate in fact I'll come right back in 30 FPS with this 2000 bit rate or something less so uh, I think I used to stream 1800 or something so let me come back with a slightly slower uh, frame rate and less data being streamed be less taxing on all of us. 